folks, today we're going to be talking about Windows 2000 and why I think it's one of the most uh, interesting and one of the most stable operating system that Microsoft ever invented. So here I am running this one is in VirtualBox on Mac. Unfortunately, you cannot run it natively these days on modern hardware, but it's fine. Let's try it. So this is the version I installed like a couple of years ago because I wanted to see like I, this was like one of my favorite operating system back in those days, and it, I feel like it's still uh, one of the best. Um, take a look at this. Take a look at how simple it is. This is like a very simple startup. All right. Okay, I have automatic startup here and just types in my credentials automatically. It starts very fast, first of all. It looks very simple, that's what I like about it. Take a look at this recycle bin icon, for example. See how simple it is? My computer. It's all in like done in very simple design. It's very nice. Startup menu. Let's go to, for example, control panel. Everything right here, right there. You don't need, you don't need to click to specific uh, uh, categories to get into those options. It's very easy. Like let's say system. Boom. Here it is. And it's very, very, as I said, very, very simple. Service Pack 4. I have everything installed. I also have all updates installed. All the recent updates that were available. Windows 2000 is no longer supported, but as you can see still it runs fine and for example let's say you want to type some document and then you launch word how how long it took I think it was less than a second honestly and as you can see it's a Russian version of the word but still it was very fast okay how about different application let's say Microsoft Office Excel okay again same thing it's so fast it's so fast my computer boom Everything is super fast. That's what I like about this operating system. It's just like no lag at all. Okay, want to uh, open it? Uh, Firefox. That's fine. You can just type whatever. Google.com. Okay. Boom. It's it's done. It's super fast. That's what I like about it. Red alert. I've tried to use this uh, game, but um, I think it doesn't like this resolution much, so it's not super good in this system but still you could run all games on this one that's cool so startup time well as you can see on the virtual box it starts super fast but okay back in those days of course it was not that fast okay let's try other apps for example okay word right here like let's try open office how long does it take to start okay a little bit longer right but still very fast so speed and simplicity take a look at those headers take a look at like right there see how thin it is it's like nothing no additional junk right there no junk it's one of the my favorite things in Windows no junk at all open the start again programs just all the programs nothing else that's what exactly you want right okay far I have far commander right here Super simple, super fast. Boom. Okay. What else you can do? Okay, Notepad. Well, okay, Notepad as obviously is also very fast. But uh, I'm not sure how much memory I'm allocated to this one. So uh, how much memory this here? Is it like one gig? Yeah, I think it's just like not much. Like a couple of gigs I allocated to this one. And that's all. Um, Okay, what else do we have here? All the things that you remember from the past. Minesweeper. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, okay. And what else? What else? What else do we have here? Communications, entertainment, games. Okay, system tools. What about this cleanup? Okay, cleanup, boom. How much junk do I have here? Okay, not much, but okay, let's do a cleanup here. Yes, I want to clean up. Boom. So, it's very fast. It's very nice. It's very simple. Nothing complicated here. That's what I like about this one. No rocket science here. It all does what it should. Because in a recent version of Windows, they have decided they need to add some additional 
like visual things, right? Just about all about visual. It's not about functionality anymore. It's all about visual junk. Uh, by the way, here on Windows Total, we still have this active desktop option, which is, I think it was uh, <laughs> one of the worst features they have decided to add because it's essentially junk. But anyway, nobody ever used this one. Appearance, you have Windows Standard, you can switch to some Windows Classic. I really like the design of the Windows Classic Windows. It's so simple, it's so amazing. You don't need all these additional things that they have created in recent years. Nothing you need. Settings, true color, okay, screen area, you can change whatever you want. It's like all accessible, all, all within one place and within without any junk. Volume, that's it. Downloader, whatever you want. Oh, and Quick Translator, I was told, you can easily translate from one language to another. Also, so everything is super fast right now. Try this one on Windows 10. Yeah, of course, Windows 10 is more advanced in like in the technologies, but if Microsoft have not changed their way in terms of making things more visually appealing rather than some uh, actually adding some functionality, that would be much better. They have just have just added additional functionality instead of this visual chunk they have created. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, I think folks, that's about it. Uh, honestly, there is not much I can say about Windows 2000 because it just works. It doesn't have any lag, it doesn't have any problems, so I don't know. Back in those days, of course, um, you should have thought about firewall because in Windows XP, for example, by default, that was a firewall. In Windows 2000, it was not, so you need to install it separately. But Windows XP, I think it was a step in the wrong direction. Everything else after Windows 2000 was a step in the wrong direction. It should have come like this simple, for the power users, not for the uh, for the, what for the um, for the kids. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, press the like button. And sorry, I was just a little bit drunk, so I guess this video was also a bit um, buzzy, fuzzy, and whatever. <laughs>